Hi, my name is Rob Earlham, Senior Developer Advocate at Sitecore. And this is the first video in a new series introducing some of the key concepts for Sitecore Search. We recently implemented Search on the Sitecore Developer Portal, and we're going to cover that project throughout this series. Today, we're going to be talking about Federated Search. What is it, and how do we leverage it on the Dev Portal? So, let's dive in. So when we look at a lot of companies, their content is usually pretty fragmented. They may have a series of public or private websites. They may have data stored in a variety of databases or other storage locations. It could also be exposed by a bunch of different APIs, again, either public or private. What Federated Search allows you to do is for a user to come along and issue a single query against all of those different sources in one go. The results from those different sources are then combined into a single data set and returned to the user, enabling them to find the content they're looking for really quickly and easily. So that's an overview, very high level of how Federated Search works. But what are the benefits? Why would you want to do that? Well, there are a series of benefits, both not only for the end user using the tool, but also for the marketers on the back end as well. Number one is it saves a heap of time. Users can search all these different content repositories in one go. Secondly, it allows for the combination of a comprehensive set of results. So information from all these different sources is all presented as a single data set back to the user, allowing them to refine and change that as they see fit. This gives simplified access. Users can interact with a single user interface, regardless of which source of content they're actually looking for here. They can search through all of them from one simple UI. Finally, for the marketers on the back end, you get unified analytics. So data about search usage is unified across all of the sources, providing a complete view of user interactions, regardless of where the search results are coming from. So how does this work in Cycle Search? Now, obviously we can't query all of these different index sources in real time, because that would be super slow. It wouldn't give a good experience to the user. So how does Cycle Search get around this? Well, first of all, each of the different index sources are scanned and their data stored inside indexes stored inside the Cycle Search platform. Users then submit a query to Cycle Search from their client application. Each data source index is then interrogated to locate the documents that match the search query. Cycle Search then combines the results from all these indexes, performing ranking, sorting, and deduplication into a single data set. And these aggregated results are presented back to the user in the form of a single set of results displayed on the client application. So how does this apply to the developer portal? Well, the different developer content that exists is fairly fragmented for Sitecore, and it's across a lot of different sources, places like the developer portal itself, documentation site, YouTube videos, Stack Exchange answers, and many more besides. The developer portal itself is designed to be a single shooting off point for developers to basically help them find what they need across all these different site core content properties as quickly as possible. For this reason, the federated search model in site core search was a really good fit for what we needed. It helped us pull all of these different sources together and enable a single UI for developers to access the content they need. On top of that, all this is live today. So everything I'm gonna talk about and show you, you can see for yourself if you head over to developers.sitecore.com. So how is it going to function? Well, a user will come along to the developer portal and you'll be presented with a search box that looks something like this. They'll then enter the term they're interested in. In this case, they're looking for content on how they can migrate from XM to XM Cloud. They hit enter or click the little magnifying glass logo and that performs the full search for them. What that does is search all the different index sources at once, meaning that you can enter your search term once Search all these different content repositories in a single search. So after you actually perform your search, you're taken over to the results page. And this is where that single data set of result information is returned back to you. All of those index sources combined into one data set. You can then use things like faceting on the left to try and narrow that data set. Say, for example, I knew that my result was coming from the documentation site. I can use the site name facet to be refined by only index results that return from that index source. 
It also allows you to change sorting, so you can go and change the order that it's coming back in. By default, we're letting the AI choose the order that it thinks the documents will be most applicable to my search terms, but you can change that sort order yourself. Okay, so I think it's time we hop over to the dev portal and see this in action. Okay, so I've fired up the dev portal here and I'm gonna go and run a search. So I'm gonna click in my search box and straight away you can see we're already getting rich contextual suggestions here. I'm gonna go and do a search for XM Cloud. And we can see we start to get suggestions back where the AI is trying to predict what it is we're looking for. You can also see we get a selection of different results available. We have some results coming back from Cycle Stack Exchange, which is one of our index sources. But you can also see we have results down here from GitHub, so repositories that we have indexed, and from the Cycle documentation side as well. So straight away, you can see we're starting to leverage this federated search model here. I've hit enter, and I'm gonna perform a full search now. Here you can see we get the complete search listing returned. As I said before, you have this rich fastening on the left-hand side here, which will allow you to refine that data set further. Let's say, for example, we know our result is on the documentation site. I can go and select site called documentation from our site name, and that's refined our list down to only documents contained in there. If we go back to the full data set now, we can scroll through and start to see we have different results returned from different index sources. The first few results come from site called Stack Exchange. We have a repository in there. We have site called documentation. And we have lots of different results coming from all of the different Sitecore repositories we have available. All of this data being powered by Sitecore Search. Thanks for watching the first video in this series. Stay tuned to the Discover Sitecore YouTube channel where you'll see more in the coming weeks.